Hello, I'm Chris. How's everybody doing out there? I wanted to come on and um, do a few topics. And oh, by the way, I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. And so, yeah, I wanted to do a few topics um, today. Uh, the first one is the Golden City, which was mentioned by Ishmael Perez. It's a uh, regarding this golden city rising. I also wanted to do uh, about the cities or pyramids, um, things rising in Antarctica. I wanted to look into that. And also I had a download about timelines. Uh, but I also wanted to just make a comment really briefly, you know, I kind of got like a, not really a bad comment uh, on one of my videos, but just somebody saying, you know, like, oh, this, your videos are too slow moving. I'm moving on, which is fine. You know, I know that Maybe my channel doesn't resonate with everyone, which is cool. That's perfectly fine. Um, you know, I don't have like a huge ego. Um, and also I just wanted to make a comment as well that because, you know, everything, the frequencies are so high right now and you know, pretty much everybody's going through a lot of people, not everyone, but, you know, a lot of people are going through their own shit, you know, their own karma. So, I mean, it really is a good time to kind of just step back and be patient, be a little more patient with people because of, you know, the energies and, you know, it could be from, you know, it's probably from the sun, you know, these, these solar flares that are happening. So, you know, just a reminder to just step back and not really to get caught up in the drama and other people's drama, you know, especially now that we just had Christmas and, you know, everybody's family has got, you know, everyone's Everyone got together with their family and, you know, there could have been some family drama or whatnot. Um, you know, and I, you know, I just, I always put it, put this into practice where you, you know, you always, you always have to protect yourself and, you know, on a spiritual level, um, you know, I, I worked in a hospital for 12 years, so I basically worked around sick people and mentally ill people and was constantly being attacked, like, on a daily basis. So I've learned how to handle myself, and I've learned how to not react. I mean, that's really the best way to handle those situations um, where some when somebody is attacking you is to really not react. That's the best way to protect yourself on a conscious level. Um, and to have, you know, compassion and understanding for them. Um, but don't get, you know, don't get sucked into the drama. That's, very, that's key. Don't get sucked into it. And um, what else was I going to say? I mean, sometimes I've, you know, I've noticed that when I react with, you know, no emotion or kind of with like very stoic, the person that is having the outburst can sometimes think, well, you know, she's kind of aloof and you know, why isn't she reacting the way I want her to, you know, or, you know, 
like what's wrong with her she has no emotions like but it's you know it's not the case with me it's not that I don't have emotions it's it's that you know I'm putting things in per, into perspective and you know I kind of have a tendency to be a little bit approach things in a little more masculine way so I have that masculine energy. So that makes me more like a chill type of person. Like I don't seek, you know, I like to be in a peaceful place. I like my home to be peaceful. You know, I don't seek out drama or, you know, it takes a lot for me to get angry or, you know, to be sad, you know, it, it takes a lot because of, I mean, I also think it's because of years of meditation, um, you know, years of working on myself and putting things into perspective and being grateful for what I have. So, so anyway, just like I said, just a little FYI. Um, I know some YouTubers, you know, they get Sometimes they get like upset if somebody makes a negative comment, but you know, whatever, it doesn't bother me. That's how you feel. I mean, I actually removed the comment because what's the point of saying, you know, I, I don't resonate with you, so I'm going to move on. Like, why do you, like, why even tell me, like, why even tell me that? Like, I don't know. Like, just move on. Fine. It's fine. You're not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's comical. <laughs> anyway, so let's go. Let's move on to. Um, so the Golden City. OK, so I actually have the cards laid out already. So this is this is the download that I got. So we got the Knight of Swords, and that is the Quarian. So what we we're talking about, we're, talk we're talking about this golden city, and I got such an itch in my nose. Oh, okay. So we're talking about this golden city. So this really represents um, more like the war that's going on, the battle, you know, there's a battle between good and evil an informational battle um, coming out, you know, this uh, golden city that's coming out to the public and, you know, we're unable to see it. It's there, but we are unable to see it. And let's see. Um, so this is the outcome. So the kingdom is is our past. So you can actually see this little, it, you can't really, let's see if I can hold it up a little closer, but you see like this, it looks sort of like a castle. So it's kind of like a kingdom. So the kingdom is in the past and we are being prevented from seeing it. And she is, this card, the um, eight of swords, she's kind of like in bondage. And she can, she's not really tightly bound, but she can break free from this. But she's kind of like imprisoning herself. Um, so we are being prevented from seeing it due to our level of consciousness. So I really believe this represents like a level of, of our own consciousness. And it's also the evil forces that are blocking us. Because there are a lot of, there are things out there, energies that are blocking us. And I have been blocking us for years and years. You know, I mean, just look at the poisons in the food. You know, they're meant to, A, probably kill us, and B, you know, keep down the population. And C, you know, block our natural abilities, our intuitive abilities. So this city holds the knowledge of the past a sacred knowledge of our history 
It is the meaning of life and our true essence. Okay, and then we have the high priestess, which is in the past, also in the past. So there is a full, I got the, the download that there is a full library, which links us to, to the past. And the knowledge are written on, the knowledge is written on the walls of the city. Um, and I would, I would think that it would be symbolism just by reading certain symbols you would get downloads and you know an understanding or just by even touching the walls and let's see so then we have the the devil card which is in the present so, you know, the darker entities are still preventing us from seeing the city. And there is also like a residue. I don't know what that means, but there's like this dark residue. Um, and also this card is saying that humanity is still not ready, you know, to even know that the city exists. Uh, we still have to get to a certain level of consciousness because it has to it has to do with our consciousness. You know, before we're allowed to reap of the war of the reap the rewards, we have to do the the work, the spiritual work. You know, and not just a few people; like everyone has to do it. Um. I mean, a lot of the negative negative forces have been dealt with um but they're you know there's still negative energy there's negative residue um that's blocking us from getting the knowledge of you know of the city and i do feel that you know that that the blocks will eventually be cleared and the entities of light will open the door Uh, they will open, so they will open, the entities of light will open the door or portal and to the city and the, you know, the, the city will emerge and the truth will be revealed. Um, and the city represents the promise uh, made between man and God. So as humanity's light shines brighter and brighter, these evil forces will disappear further and further. And new cities, not just the golden city, other cities will emerge. And what else did I get? Um, you know, this, you know, I also got these cards. So, you know, like, you know, this pretty much represents that you know this looks like a portal opening up you know it's something that we're not able to see you know this is truth integrity you know justice it's you know the brutal like brutally honest okay and the other thing I wanted to talk about was um, having to do with timelines. So I got this download and just suddenly got this download randomly. Uh, so I got that the Offworlders, you know, the Galactic Federation um, uses a technology to access, to assess timeline violations by the dark forces so they are um just looking at my notes they are able to see attacks on humanity before they happen so that's the reason uh these warnings come out like let's say these predictions or 
you know, like warnings to the public. Like if you go on Rumble and then they say, okay, you know, make sure you have food for two weeks and water for two weeks, you know, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's why we, we've been getting these warnings because these off-worlders and not just off-worlders, it's, you know, it's people that are working with the off, off-worlders that are from, from Earth, helping out humanity, that are putting this together and they're seeing what's happening on the timeline or what could happen on the timeline, like these possibilities. So that's where you hear, that's why you hear things and they don't happen because it's like a possibility that they've seen. And, you know, they, there are tools like, you know, if you, if you've ever heard of Project Looking Glass, well, they use that technology but it's it's actually more advanced like it's a more of an advanced technology so basically i got that um they the alliance well you'd say it's the alliance so the alliance prevents it from occurring and cleans up the timeline and this is the reason for these shifts for these shifts that occur And, you know, as I said, the reason for certain events that don't don't happen. Um, and I also got that there is this scanning, it's like a scanning technique that they use. And they also use like intuitive people as well. It's not just the technology they use. Um, they use like psychics or intuitives as well. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do is ask about Antarctica. So, you know, I've heard that there are these things being discovered like pyramids in Antarctica being discovered when the snow melts so what my question is what do we need to know about the cities in our in Antarctica Feel like I'm just taking a stab in the dark because I don't know anything about this. <laughs> so city do you want to tell me? Cities in Antarctica. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. So I got the lovers, which is the Quern, which, but I was asking about the cities and I got like this feeling of, I got this feeling of love, but I can't explain it. It's, I just felt it like go right through my heart chakra and I felt like this. It's like, I felt like this picking up the pieces that were lost and connecting them. But then the feeling of not, it's, uh, how can I explain it? It's like, I have to translate 
it's it's hard sometimes it's hard to translate what I'm feeling into words but it's like picking up the pieces and then like going full circle and feeling whole again that's it it's like feeling whole again and just feeling that universal love with everything and everyone because you're whole so the key to these cities is really the key to humanity and it's going to fill in the holes it's it's going to fill in the missing holes it's going to fulfill what we have been missing as as a whole as a planet wow very cool okay so so this is the outcome and i think the powers that be are working on bringing the information forth it's something that's being worth worked on i heard the time is the time is now so i'm hearing that we're in the clear so it's like we're in the in the clear for this to be re revealed. Okay. And again, Knight of Cups, like Knight of, okay, so this is the past. So this is a very heart centered card. He's making an offering, but it's a very heart, very loving. He's very loving. It's a very loving card. So let's see. So here's an so we have oh wait no let's go to, to the king of cups. So we have the king of cup cups in the present. So the king of cups is a little bit secretive, a little mysterious. But it's not really negatively aspected. So the King of Cups, when not negatively aspected, is very healing. So this city is going to be, it's going to be healing. There's a healing aspect to this. It might even have been, oh, oh, wow. Okay. So. It actually was a place of healing at one time. And it may be a place of healing again. Interesting. Wow. Okay. And then we have um, the Ten of Swords. So it kind of, re to me, this kind of like reinforces the healing aspect of it because this is somebody that's in pain and somebody that's you know that's gone as far as they can go physically mentally spiritually and there also could you know there's still some obstacles going on there i could see obstacles because these are actually clarifiers so yeah, there's, you know, some hidden stuff. There's some hidden, you know, hidden dangers, you know, and from this guy, because King of Wands is more of like a public figure uh, type of person and passionate about what he does. So, and this could also be, uh, the white hats. This could also be the white hats. So they're kind of like still cleaning stuff up. And, you know, there's some hidden, you know, there's some hidden things going on up there in Antarctica, which it would make sense. Make total sense. Okay. Very interesting. All right. Well, that this concludes 
my channel for today. And I thank you for watching. And, you know, I would, I also want to say welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm really grateful. And, you know, love and peace to all. Take care. Bye-bye now.